Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Botany Tutorials. In the previous class, we learned about epidermal tissue system. In this session, we will discuss about ground tissue system. Ground tissue system. What is ground tissue system? Except epidermis, except epidermis and vascular tissues, all the remaining tissues together constitute ground tissues. Except epidermis and one more tissue is vascular tissues or vascular bundles the remaining tissues are called ground tissues they occupies major part they occupies major part of the plant body major part of plant body okay next these ground tissues are originate from ground meristems they originate from ground meristem these ground tissues again differentiated into two types they are differentiated into two types in that first one is extra stellar ground tissue system first one is extra stellar ground tissue system and second one is intrastellar ground tissue system intrastellar ground tissue system such variation is not found in monocots in monocot stem scattered vascular bundles are present in the stem so that there is no differentiation of extrastellar ground system, tissue system and intrastellar ground tissue system okay now i will explain one by one first i will go go to extrastellar ground tissue system next intrastellar ground tissue system first one coming to extrastellar ground tissue system this extrastellar ground tissue system extends between epidermis and the steel it is extend extend between epidermis and steel epidermis and steel right it is generally called cortex it is also called cortex it is composed of three zones they are number one hypodermis first one is hypodermis and second one is general cortex general cortex and third one is endodermis endodermis these three portions are present in the extrastellar ground tissue system that is present outside the steel so that it is called extrastellar ground tissue system it is extended between epidermis and steel it is composed of three elements or three portions they are hypodermis general cortex and third one is endodermis okay first coming to hypodermis where it is present hypodermis what is hypodermis hypodermis is the outer part of the cortex you imagine that this is epidermis this is epidermis on the epidermis cuticle is present beneath the epidermis hypodermis is present it is the outer part of the cortex here i hypodermis is present it is composed of two or more rows of cells in dicots it is made up of with cholenchyma coming to dicots the hypodermis is made up of with cholenchyma in monocots it is made up of with sclerenchyma monocots hypodermis is made up of with sclerenchyma right next the main function of hypodermis is to give protection to the plant body when the epidermis is ruptured or epidermis is damaged this hypodermis acts as protective layer it acts as protective layer in roots it is also called exodermis 
exodermis. Are you understand? Once again, I am repeating. Hypodermis is the outer part of the cortex. It is composed of two, two or more rows of cells. It is present below the epidermis. Next, in dicots, it is made up of with cholenchyma. In monocots, it is made up of with sclerenchyma. Okay. Next, in roots, it is also called exodermis. When the epidermis is ruptured, this hypodermis acts as protective layer. It gives mechanical strength to the stem or roots. Okay. This is about hypodermis. Coming to next one, general cortex. General cortex. It is the central portion of the cortex. This is cortex. It is central portion. It is composed of few layers. Few layers are present in the cortex. General cortex. The cells are parenchymatous. Cells are living cells and they are parenchymatous. Sometimes they may contain chloroplasts. Chloroplasts may also present in the general cortical cells. They perform photosynthesis. These cells perform photosynthesis and general cortex is not clear in monocot stems. It is not well developed in monocot stems because uh, vascular bundles are scattered in the stem so that it is not well developed. Okay. Next, these parenchymatous cells or general cortical cells helps in storage of food material storage and manufacture of food material manufacturing of food material right are you understand next coming to endodermis what is endodermis the innermost layer of the cortex is called endodermis innermost layer of the cortex is called endodermis in this cells are arranged in a row and they are barrel shaped cells single row of barrel shaped cells are present in the endodermis okay next in roots coming to roots these endodermal cells are well developed they are well developed in well developed in roots well developed in roots but they are not clear in stems in stems they are not clear they are present as a layer in stems in stems they are present as a layer and they are composed of starch grains they contain starch grains that's why in stems it is called starch sheath starch sheath okay and these endodermal cells are wrapped with a band on their radial walls and their, and their transverse walls wrapped with a ribbon like band this ribbon like band was first time observed by Caspery. It is first time observed by Caspery in the year 1865. So that these bands are also called Casperian thickenings. Casperian bands or Casperian thickenings. These Casperian bands are absent in the endodermal cells which are opposite to protoxylum. This is protoxylum. The cells which are present opposite to the protoxylum, these endodermal cells do not possess Casperian bands. These cells are called transfusion cells. Transfusion, transfusion cells. Otherwise, they are also called passage cells. Passage cells. They help in entry of water from cortex to xylem. The main function of endodermis is that gives 
protection that gives protection when the in monocots when the cortex is damaged this endoderm is acts as a protective layer this endoderm is acts as barrier it acts as barrier between cortex and vascular tissues it acts as barrier between cortex and vascular tissues it does not allow the leakage of water leakage of water from steel to cortex and it does not allow the entry of air into the vascular tissues and endoderm is also acts as storage tissue it stores starch grains in dicots in dicots acts as storage tissue storage tissue it stores starch grains these are the functions of endoderm is in the next video i will come with second type that is intrastellar ground tissue system thank you